with Rob. Today's topic we're talking about electric cars, fad or future. Now, if you were to straight up ask me what my opinion was about electric cars, I'd say they're a fad. I'd say they're the laser disc of the automotive world, okay? It's not going to be the future of cars. It shouldn't be the future of cars either. And I'll tell you why. First of all, electric cars are still a new technology. They're still being developed. And even though you can buy some today, I really wouldn't recommend you buying one. You can't go very far on a single charge. And uh, to be honest, they're kind of expensive. like any other small compact car, uh, there's not a whole lot to them, okay? So let's talk about a few specifics, because there's a few electric cars out there you can buy right now. Um, let's start off with the most hated, the Chevy Bolt, okay? Now the Chevy Bolt is 40 grand. 40 grand! Okay? And their big thing is, is well, it's got an electric generator, it's got a gas generator, so you go to charge because it will start up the electric motor and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, look, this is the first time that there's been an electric uh, gas-powered car, okay, with a, with a generator in the back. Mercedes makes uh, an A-Class, which is like a, kind of like a Honda Fit, but with a Mercedes badge. Okay, it's, it's a diesel-powered electric car. These are really just hybrids. It's not a new technology. Okay? Uh, locomotives for years now have been diesel electric. They've got electric motors that are powered by a diesel generator. Because they're great on gas. Of course they're going to be great on gas. It's an electric car. And one of the major things that bothers me about this Chevy Bolt is, of course, they're going to be commercial. Excuse me. When they're talking about how you know, these, these customers are like, oh, I never have to go to the gas station anymore. Really? You have an electric car. No shit, you don't have to go to the gas station anymore. So it's, it's dumb. And I think one of the things they, they kind of uh, try not to mention is the fact that you still have to put the car on a car charger. It's not just going to run off of that uh, gas power generator, okay? So a lot of trips are kind of out of the question. And if you are taking a long trip and you're going to have to stop the charging, it's going to need like 12 hours to charge. It doesn't matter if you're buying the Chevy Bolt, the Nissan Leaf, uh, the new electric Prius, any of that stuff. It doesn't matter, okay? Because they're not going to, it's not going to go very far. And now here's another thing is that temperature affects battery life in all things. And I don't think cars are going to be any different, okay? When it's colder out, the battery's not going to have as good of a charge. It's not going to get as good of a charge. And you're not going to get as long of a life out of your batteries on a colder day than you would on a warmer day. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry, there's so many things I want to talk about, and it's just like, I'm having a hard time picking where to, where to start and stop. Uh, another thing to really think about when you're, when you're talking about electric cars is what happens when you get in a car accident. And this has happened where people have been in a really bad car accident in an electric car, and the fire department or, you know, the rescue crews or whatever, they can't cut you out of that car because if they cut into one of those electric lines, people could die from electric shock. And another thing is, too, batteries can be explosive. And uh, Chevy's already had a, had a problem with the electric uh, volt catching on fire because the batteries got too hot. Oh, my gosh, huge surprise when you think about people that have iPhones that are this big catching on fire because the battery gets too hot. Or their laptops, which are only this big. So a car, which is a fucking car, of course, the batteries are going to get too hot at some point, and you're going to have problems with car fires. And you're not going to be... And, and when you get in an accident, you know, you increase the risk of the car catching on fire with the batteries in the back. And the rescue crews aren't going to cut you out because if they cut into one of those electrical lines... They themselves could die. So, I'd say overall, an electric car is completely impractical unless all you do is drive to the local grocery store once a day and then you put it back on the car charger. That's a practical use for an electric car. But really, when there's all these other technologies out there um, for alternative fuel, electric just seems stupid to me. And, and besides, where does electricity come from? It comes from nuclear plants, it comes from... Um, you know, all these different electrical plants that, that put out terrible emissions. And, and I mean, that's one of the, the huge points about electric cars. Oh, they're zero emissions cars. Really? Zero emissions? Because last time I checked,
fact, you had to mine the minerals for the battery, and then the, those had to be processed, and then that gets shipped all over the world to China, to Japan, to back to America, to Canada, to Mexico, back to America. Look, electric cars are not zero emissions. Overall, you would have less emissions being put out by an older, crappier car throughout its lifetime than you would by buying a brand new car, okay? There's a lot of emissions that are put out going in to building this electric car. And then on top of that, when the car is ready to go to the junkyard, it can't just go to the junkyard. It's got to go to a special recycling plant where they got to tear out the batteries, they got to process them, and all that. And it, it's really ridiculous. And then on top of that, what do you do when your batteries run out, when, when they're completely dead and you need a new, new pack of batteries? This is going to be as expensive, if not more expensive, than it would be to replace a transmission. And the batteries are going to go bad within a few years. I think right now the current battery life is about four years. Four years. And it's really... I mean, if you had a car and you're like, okay, it's going to need a transmission in four years, Dodge. Why would you buy that car? This is, why, this is a huge reason why a lot of Dodge trucks um, fell to the wayside. It's because they had so many transmission problems. And transmissions are expensive to fix. So you've got an expensive car to fix. Um, it doesn't put out zero emissions like you think. It puts out more emissions. And uh, it's impractical. So why would you go electric? In my opinion, the electric car is simply a fad. It's a Betamax. It's a, a freaking uh, laser disc, okay? It's not, it's not going to be the way of the future. It's not how all future um, automotive technology is going to go. This semi has no idea what he's doing. He's just pulling out. Idiot. So really, if you ask me what is going to be the future of automotive, where are we going to go once we run out of gasoline, we run out of fossil fuels, we, we don't have any more, or gas gets so ridiculously expensive, not that it isn't already, that you just can't afford to own a gas car anymore. Listen, the way of the future is hydrogen power. And I know a lot of people get freaked out because they hear hydrogen, they think hydrogen bomb. Listen, a hydrogen bomb splits a hydrogen atom, okay? Your car is not going to be splitting atoms, all right? Hydrogen comes from water. A water-powered car. You take water, you separate the oxygen and the hydrogen, you're left over with hydrogen. That goes in your gas tank just like gasoline would. And what comes out of your tailpipe? Steam. Water. There's a zero emissions car right there. You don't have to worry about crappy batteries. You don't have to worry about uh, replacing them, which is going to be very expensive to do. And you don't have to worry about us running out of fuel because the best way to get hydrogen... It's from salt water. I don't know if you know this, but there's more salt water on the planet than there is dirt. So hydrogen, in my opinion, is the way of the future. Electric cars, not so much. So in my opinion, stay away from electric cars. Uh, there's not a huge reason for you to buy an electric car. Okay, they're going to be crappy. They're not going to be practical. They're not going to be very reliable. And in an accident, you're stuck in that car until someone can come out, special team, deactivate the batteries, and then they can get you out of that car. So it's it's not practical, okay? Buy a small compact car that gets very good. There's so many cars that get great gas mileage right now that I think an electric car is just dumb, okay? It's just dumb. So why don't you guys uh, let me know what you think about electric cars. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm awesome and, hey, it really helps me out and uh, lets me know you like what I'm doing. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.